I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks for listening to the serious truth for, about life, about education. This is another great day. So let's make a change in this world for goodness, starting in our own family with our children and our grandchildren. My children are big now and some are blessed in marriage and soon they will have children on their own. I'm so excited. I'll have grandchildren and I can help with homeschooling for them. So why should we do homeschooling? Look at my last video about how the elite is controlling our education system and we'll continue to check them out. Why did they start these big foundations? It all sounded so great. They're all helping people for peace and whatever. Anyway, they started these foundations to evade federal taxation of their money. They were tax exempt because they were giving all this money away. So this made it easier for them to further the one world religion, which is on page 76 in the Killing of Uncle Sam. Reverend Harry Emerson Fostick started an inter-church movement to consolidate all the Protestant churches to control them. He used higher criticism. In First Presbyterian Church, New York, he preached a sermon titled, Shall the Fundamentalist Win? He taught that Jesus was a revolutionary and taught no atonement on the cross and denounced interpretation of the Bible who upheld supernatural life of Jesus as intolerable. This speech was dis distributed to ministers and seminarians all over America. Rockefeller Jr. liked him, and Rockefeller Foundation built Riverside Church in Upper Manhattan, Manhattan for him. This is real serious, shaking the basic Christian faith foundation in America. Rockefeller started to fund seminarians that complied with the dictates of higher criticism and the debunking of the New Testament, and new breed of ministers who believed neither the account of resurrection nor the divinity of Christ was unleashed on the American people. The seeds of skepticism would be spread all over America so that deep conviction would be surrendered for the sake of ecum ecumenism. I was part of a ministerial alliance and these ministers were so confused. They supported Planned Parenthood and abortion. They supported homosexuality as normal. I'll talk more about that later. God and prayer was taken out of school. The moral standard keep falling. Now we have endless genders. Though anyone with common sense know that there's only two God created them, male and female, in Genesis. And biologically, that is proven too. One has a penis, the other a vagina. Plus there's DNA. Their DNA is different. Female DNA has two X chromosomes and male has one X and one Y chromosome. Even in schools and public restroom, transgender men can use the women's bathroom. It's scary for girls and can lead to abuse sexually. Another thing that's really sad in the schools today is school shooting. In a no-gun zone in Colorado, in Columbine High School in 1992, 12 children and three teachers, plus the two who shot, everyone died. And in Parkland, Florida, three teachers and 14 kids were shot by crews. The worst is the police did not help. They did not intervene. And they did not stop crews ahead of time, even though 39 times they had been called about his violent behavior. In 2013, Obama administration made a policy to prevent arrest of troubled youth. Too many was going to jail. So disciplinary school policies was rewritten and it was almost impossible to suspend, expel, and or arrest students, even for drugs and assault. A lot of kids these days are diagnosed with ADHD. Most of them just need more outside physical activity. It's too hard for them to sit still for hours and hours in a schoolroom. I have friends who have really took care of their boys, and they didn't need to have drugs. But today, 
the teachers, the doctors put them antidepressants and other drugs. Many of the school shootings were done by kids on drugs. So in your classroom, where your kids are, there will be kids with different disabilities and emotional ups and downs. Plus, most schools are gun-free zone. Luckily, some schools now have teachers who are concealed carriers. I hope many more teachers become concealed carriers. I'm going to become one soon myself. It's a zoo in the schools today, and I do recommend parents to homeschool their kids. Also, they're away from home, like six to 10 hours a day if they go to sports in the afternoon. Who do you want to raise your kids? They have to sit down for hours, which is a torture for most kids. They need to move and be out in nature as well as learning. There's many good Christian homeschooling programs like AOP, one mother said she used, or Alpha Omega curriculum. And other times she used Life Park, now Schoolhouse, or there's also Agora Cyber School. This is what she's using now. She has children from elementary age to high school. I remember how grateful I was for the long summer vacation. It was so great to have my kids home all summer. We could do a lot of outside things together as a family. We went ocean fishing, we went swimming, canoeing, shooting, archery, summer camp with other church families. They could work with dad on the fish farm and make own tree house and so on. I got my boys back again in the summertime. You want to grow and teach and learn with your children. Another thing is the crazy school taxes we have to pay if we own a house. If you own the house and cannot pay your taxes for about like three to four, four years, they can even take your house away. This is tax farming. This is horrible. You still have to pay school ta taxes even if you have no one in school in most states or do homeschooling. Maybe if we all took our children out of school there will be no more school taxes. That would be great. It's time to wake up. We're supposed to raise God's children based on Judeo-Christian principles. They are then to continue God's tradition and build strong families themselves. The building block for God's kingdom on earth. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. God bless. Bye-bye.